I'm the commanding officer of VMM 266 Reinforced, or better known out here as the Air, Air Combat Element Crisis Response Africa. Uh, our unit has both MB-22 Bravo aircraft as well as KC-130J uh, Hercules aircraft. We provide that 24-7 uh, alert capability for the combatant commander as well in support of you know, Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa uh, to respond to a crisis uh, 24 hours a day at, at a moment's notice. And that's really in support of our, you know, of our embassies that are all over the continent of Africa. Uh, Major Brandon Thompson, I'm the operations officer at 266 Reinforce. Uh, we're here at CLDJ, um, and uh, yeah, I run uh, the operations department for the squadron. We're responsible for five, five missions total, so in a nutshell what that is is Operation New Normal, which is support to the Department of State, as well as crisis response and us for the entire continent of Africa. Um, but then in addition to that, we're responsible for uh, PR Kazavak, so that's kind of one of our METs, or uh, Mission Essential Tasks, so tactical recovery of aircraft and personnel. And then we also do uh, infill and exfill missions for U.S. Special Operations Forces uh, in both CENTCOM and AFRICOM AORs. And that's really the majority of our, the missions that we flew were those, the uh, AFRICOM and CENTCOM infill exfill missions. One of the things that we did while we were out here is there was a mission, uh, you know, low visibility mission. Uh, they needed uh, blood, which was, you know, for as a critical uh, life-saving uh, support uh, delivered to a boat. And so we ended up, we problem solved and decided to deliver the blood via C-130, uh, uh, air delivery um, to, to the boat. And that was actually the first time that blood was ever delivered uh, to a water DZ successfully. Did a tactical recovery uh, of a downed uh, unmanned aerial system. Uh, we were able to respond very rapidly and then get the thing in the back of uh, our MB-22 aircraft and then recover it back here to, to CLDJ. Another mission that we supported that you've probably seen in the news, uh, the uh, First Lady of the United States just had a visit down to Nairobi, Kenya, uh, and we supported her with four MB-22 Bravo aircraft and one KC-130J uh, during her high visibility uh, mission to the continent in Nairobi. Uh, we stay, you know, pretty well employed uh, when we're back at Marine Corps Station, New River in North Carolina, uh, but it just can't compare to the day-to-day -day operations that we're doing out here. And to put that in perspective, I have, you know, maintainers uh, working on the aircraft 24 hours a day uh, they work on, you know, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, and then that also, uh, we're doing missions, you know, at all hours of, of the night and, and throughout the day. Both V-22s and then also C-130s, and then that, that's huge for this AO with the, the vast distances that have to be traveled throughout the continent of Africa, and it makes this combination perfect out here. So with the V-22, um, we have speed and range, but then also the ability to land uh, to an austere location, which no fixed wing aircraft would be able to do, but then we can do what helicopters can't do with that speed and range. And then adding in the C-130s as an air-to-air -air refueling pl platform, it really makes us capable of almost uh, transiting the entire continent of Africa. We got to we got to do you know interesting things that you you normally don't get to do on deployments. Um, and then we really got to see how the V-22 is uh, can be employed uh, to its max capability. And out out here was the perfect environment to be able to do that.